Maybe she's my sister. My only sister. And because of what happened to her, doesn't make her less of a human being. I don't care. I don't care. Okay, we are not letting her into this house. That's putting our lives and the lives of our kids in jeopardy. You know her story. You know what happened to her. But she's not that bad. She is that bad. She is that bad. That's why she's where she is. Aziz, she's my only sister. My, the only family I have. You know what? I'm going to have this conversation with you. Am I supposed to just reject her because of what happened to her? How was your trip? Fine. You look fine. You too. So how long have you lived in Lagos for? Quite some time now. It's so good to have you back. Welcome. Thank you. Um, yeah, living room, bedroom upstairs, the kitchen. Please, please, make yourself comfortable, okay? Or do you want to check around and just familiarize yourself with the place? No, it's fine. Okay, are you sure you don't want to check around? It'll be nice. Oh, no sec. Oh, I'm so sorry. I have to pick my kids from, from play dates. I'll be back in another 10, 20 minutes, okay? Okay. Um, please make yourself at home. It's so good to have you here. Thank you. I'll see you soon, please. Okay.
Mom, is Auntie Daisy going to stay with us forever? No, but she's just going to live with us for a bit, okay? She's been through a lot. You guys should not pester her. Be nice, okay? Do you okay, Mom. Um, lovely. Come, come, let's go inside. What do you want to eat? Spaghetti. Spaghetti and what? Come in, come in, come in, come in. Daisy, we are home. Um, this is Lin Lin Daisy. Don. This is your auntie, Auntie Daisy. I want to show you. Right now? Okay. Go, go, go. Should I come with you guys? Okay, I'll just make dinner. <sighs> Auntie, why didn't you ever meet you before? Um, because I was away for a very long time. Daisy, do you like the show? Yes. <laughs> it's perfect, thank you. Auntie, why were you away? Stop it, have you done that job? Yes, Auntie. Why were you away? Aziz. What? The boy is asking his auntie a question. Let him answer. Can we just watch the show in peace? Thank you. Come. Come and tell me about your school. What class are you now? Yes, wow. They have really grown. Yeah. <laughs> How long is she going to be here for? I don't know. A few weeks, a few months. As long as she needs. Is there a problem? Actually, yes. There is a problem. But what? But the kids are asking questions. So? So, a way is not going to work for too long. It will work as long as it will work, okay? We'll see. <laughs> we'll see. And what do you plan on telling them the truth? Please, I see, stop giving me a hard time. Huh? This is our first evening together. I just got my sister back. I, I don't know if you realize how much this means to me. You barely know her, okay? Don't think because you visited her a few times in jail, you know exactly who she is. She's dangerous. You know what? Stop. Stop! This is my house. All right. <sighs> Babe, I'm sorry. No, 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 it's fine. It's fine. Hey, babe. It's your house. Aziz. Do whatever you want. I'm sorry. Are you okay? Yeah. Um, the police station is not far from here, so I'll drop you off, then you can come back after by yourself, because I need to get somewhere. Okay. Okay. Um, do you know what they need you for at the station? I need to sign in at regular times. Did any of your friends actually, you know, come to see you? Yeah, my colleagues. But they stopped coming eventually. Do you hate me? What for? Because I didn't come to see you. Yeah. And Mom and Dad, they banished me. They didn't want me to ever contact you again. They said in their hearts, you, you, you're no longer their child. It's fine. You know, when we got the amnesty, Chill Services people brought the idea that we call you. I'm glad you did. So, um, you hardly talk about your husband. What happened? Akin, he testified against me in the court of law. But before then, he served me divorce papers. So did you? Of course I did. I signed it. I killed our son.
So I see that you're a doctor. Was the doctor. My name was cancelled out of the register. My license was revoked. It doesn't change anything. Once a doctor, always a doctor. It's just like me. I'll always be a cop. Do you have a job? No. What about a place to stay? I'm staying with my sister. That's good. That's good. Family is really important. You are lucky to have one. Anyways, um, I'll see you in two weeks. Okay. Thanks. Goodbye. Goodbye. You know, your kids are really fine. <laughs> Thank you very much. Very cute kids. I'm good looking too. Mm -hmm. And Aziz is a very good looking man. Mm, of course. <laughs> <laughs> but how come they don't look like you or your husband? I mean, the color of their eyes is different from yours and the shape of their nose is different from yours and your husband. Well, you know, these things happen sometimes. Not all children look like their parents. It all boils down to genes. Okay. If you say so. I know so. They are my kids. Haven't you ever heard of recessive genes before? Hey, babe. Hi. Hmm? Don't you know that sometimes kids don't look like either of their parents, okay? Because looks are a multi-complexity of genes, okay? Okay. Thanks for teaching me that. Thanks for learning. Hey. Excuse me. Excuse. Hey. Aziz, be oh. nice. Why would she say that? She was just asking. <laughs> Daisy, you never asked of mom. Oh, I was just about to. Are you still angry? No. I got what I deserve, don't you think so? Daisy, don't be too hard on yourself. Uh, life happened. Indeed, life happened. I don't regret it at all. I'm ready to start over. Have you thought of getting a job? <laughs> yes. What kind of job do you want? I don't know, anything that can sustain me. Shafi, I'm 33 years old. I need a new lease of life. I need to start a family of my own. I need to make up for everything I've lost in the past. Trust me, you are going to be fine. I know that you feel like life is cruel and ruthless and you don't deserve a second chance, but you deserve it. This is a second chance and you must take advantage of it. Trust me, you will be fine. Okay? I was wondering, I read the file and notes on your investigation and trial. You never said anything about that. Why? And it also says that you never spoke to your psychologist. Their report runs in two lines about something called lethal injection 
foreshadowing the choice of silence. I don't understand that. Can I stay with you? Of course, Lynn. Come Thank you. Sit. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Auntie. No problem. I have to tell you about my school. Really? Oh, that's nice. Okay. Um, tell me, how many friends do you have? Five. Five? Two girls, three boys, or... How many girls, how many boys? Two girls and three boys. I got it right. <laughs> oh, that's great. What about Don? Yeah. He's sleeping? Okay. Ah. Hi. Hi. Hey, baby. How are you? Hi, how you doing? Mwah. How was this today? Not bad, it's not bad at all. Um I'm so glad you opened this shop for me. Like mm. it's the best thing you've done for me in a long time. Uh -uh. I mean like you've done for me this period. Exactly. <laughs> so it's not like you came to pick me up from the shop today. What's what's up with that? Mm. Well I did that for you actually. Of course. It makes me feel like a prince in the office. You miss me coming to pick you up. It's the best thing you've done for me in a long time. Come on! I mean, like, I'm so happy you've done it. So well, that's why I wanted us to see a movie and maybe dinner today. Wow. Yes. Yeah, now I'm down. But you have to call the nanny so she can do overtime. Oh, she called in sick. What? Yeah. So who's with the boys? I'm Daisy. She's helping me out. You left our boys with your murderous sister. Why would you leave your boy? Why would you leave our, our, our boys with, 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 with a murderer? Babe. It's fine, let's really. Go Babe, let's go home. Go home? Let's go home, let's go home, because my boys are not sick. Please. They are safe. With the, with the, with the, kill, to, to kill her own child. She wouldn't murder our children. Chappy, let's go home, please. Let's go home, let's go home, please. My boys are not sick. They're not safe. They are safe. How? You are being paranoid. Honestly. I'm being paranoid. You are being paranoid. Honestly, you're being paranoid, and it's not worth it at all. Do you want me to drive? I'm reversing. Shafi, please drive, 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 please drive.
face. Your husband does not like me. Why is he so insecure? It's not what you think. I know what I'm saying, Shafi. He acts very uncomfortable around me. Is it because of what happened in the past? No, because this has always been insecure. Then there is more to it than meets the eye. He doesn't know you that well. He's acting like this because mom and dad told him about you. Mom and dad told him about me? Yeah, it's fine. I understand. What about dad? Dad died. Cancer. When exactly? September 8, 2016. When we knew we couldn't save him. I tried to reach out to you, but mom told dad and he made me promise never to contact you again. Daisy, did you ever think of us while you were down there? Down there? You make it sound pretty and nice. Down there was prison. Do you know what that is? Hours and days in a prison. Years in prison with everything outside leaving you behind. Life leaving you behind. Everyone leaving you behind. Do you know what that is? And you call it down there. What of mom? Mom came to live with us after dad died. She started losing her memory and she couldn't remember anything or anyone. We had to take her to a nursing home. These days she thinks I'm the nurse or a neighbor or something like that. So she had Alzheimer's? Come with me. Open it. Every day I thought of you. And I wrote them everything I was feeling. Every day you were gone, I documented it and I wrote it down. Even though I couldn't send it, I just wanted you to know how much I missed you and how I was feeling. I love you so much. And I'm so glad that you're back. And I love you. <laughs> Don't cry. I'll run it out. I'll wait for you in the car. 
I won't be long. But in case you change your mind. And she would really love to see you. We boys on your homework. Yes, Dad. When's mom coming back? I don't know, soon. And Auntie Daisy. I have no idea. I did together. I have no clue, okay? Play your game. What doesn't Auntie Daisy have a job? Why'd you ask that? Because most times she stays at home. You boys need to learn to mind your business, okay? Okay. Upstairs. Come on. Brush your teeth and go upstairs. Alright? So, where did you guys go? Um, went to the nursing home to see mom. Oh, how is she? She's great, good. Did she recognize? She did. I was very surprised. Hmm? I guess, you know, a mother's love. Mm -hmm. It's evergreen. <laughs> Your kids were asking about you too. Really? Did you tell them I went out with my sister? They already know. Good. <sighs> So, did you ask her? Ask her what? Why she did what she did. For, for God's sake, Aziz. You guys were all together all day. I thought you might want to know. I mean, what do you guys talk about? Sisterly things. Yeah. <laughs> what? What do you expect me to say? Nothing. Just think it's, it takes time, okay? And so, Rebet, you need time for that stuff, for those things. Ah, you know what? I'm going to bed. Hey, come on. It's really. Would you even give me time? Every time you're poking and poking me. Babe, hey, okay, okay, I'm sorry. Okay. Good night. Hey, hey, sorry, sorry, I couldn't pick up before. Yeah. Just listen, I'm gonna invite you over soon, okay, I promise. Let me just, just give me some time. Babe, come on, you know they're the one I like, hmm? Please. Hi. Hey, uh, yeah, um, I'll, I'll get the email done in the morning. Uh, yeah, just um, yeah. Send it to my send it to my inbox. Yeah, you have my email. Hi, hi, Daisy. How are you? Yeah, the proposal, of course. Okay, all right. I'll call you back. I'll call you back. I'll call you back. I'll call you back. What's wrong with this girl now? Moving around like a spirit.
Good morning. Oh, hi. Good, Good morning. morning. How was your night? Great. How was yours? It was good. Um, Shafi. Yeah? So, Lexi Diagnostics called me in for an interview on Monday morning. What? Oh, congratulations. I know. I oh, hope I get the job. Well, I hope I get the job soon. <laughs> I hope I get the job. Um, there's something I want to talk to you about, if that's okay. Oh, sure. Your husband, what's your relationship with him like? I mean, your marital relationship. My marriage is fine, as this is a very wonderful, understanding man. We're good. Yeah, I have no reason to doubt his um, sincerity and loyalty to me. Oh, okay. Okay. <laughs> Are you sure that's all you want to ask? Yes. Um, let me go back to my cleaning. <laughs> Are you sure? Yes, yes, yes. Okay, so I'm going to sweep your feet. <laughs> Maybe you should go back. You are the big sis, so <laughs> but thank you, really. You don't have to. I can do it. No, it's fine. <laughs> it's okay. <laughs> okay, let me go upstairs and get my... How are you feeling? Fine. How are you getting along with the family? Yeah, not so good, but I'll be fine. So you said you were looking for a job. Yes, I am. As a matter of fact, I have an interview on Monday morning. Wow, that's nice. Yes. So anyway, um, I have a match to go watch. Manchester United are going to be slugging with Dortmund, but let me not bore you with the details. Really? You think I don't like football? Come on. <laughs> I played football when I was a teenager. For real? Yes. Wow. <laughs> perfect woman. Smart, intelligent, and loves football. Is that supposed to be a compliment? No, no. That's the hype, and I'm the hype man. <laughs> anyway, I'll be praying for you. Mm, what for? For the job. Of course, the job. Of course, thank you so much. I will really appreciate that. No problem. Yeah. Oh, promise me one thing. What? You have to come and flex with me. Deal? <laughs> Deal, of course. You know, it wasn't easy for me. Only God knows the reason why I did what I did. It's fine, I'm not judging you, Daisy. Really? Yeah, actually. Before I became a police inspector, you know, I taught in the prison for two years. So I had to go in three times a week, I like come out three times a week, you know. Going in, that changed my whole way of looking at things. You know, my whole life, the way I saw the way things were happening, it changed basically everything. So the inmates that were there, at times I thought that these guys could be me. You know, and I could be them. But there's this fine line there sometimes. So that's just it, but everything was gonna be okay. Anyways, let me give you a ride home. Okay, thank you. Thank you very much for dropping me off. No problem. I hope you're okay though. Yes. <laughs> yes. Okay. Um, don't. I'm a long way away. All right. Bye. Hi, Lynn and Don. Hi, Hi Angie. Angie. Mm -hmm. 
And she had, I have an assignment of Predator and Prey. Can you help me? Yeah, sure. Let's see what it's about. Sit. Don't come and sit here. Okay. Okay, what page is the exercise? Um, okay. <laughs> yes! Yes, I'm fine. How are you? Okay, so you wouldn't believe what happened. <laughs> yes, I got the job! I got the job. You know, I was surprised myself. I don't even know what worked for me. I don't know if it's my CV. You know, I actually don't even know what worked for me. I'm telling you. <laughs> I didn't think I was even going to get it, actually. Yes, I'm so happy. <laughs> Thank you so much, Shafi. Thank you. Oh, true. Yes, I should actually call Sefa and tell him about it. Mm -hmm. Okay, I'll call you when I get home, okay? Let me call Sefa. Okay, bye. <laughs> I am so happy. I am so, you know, I literally shivered when I saw the number of people at the interview. Really? Yes. I'm so happy for you. I'm very, very happy for you. I believe in you, Daisy. I believe in you. You know, when former emails get assigned to me, you know, I try my hardest to try and reconnect them with the society. So it's a win for me too that you got a job. So I'm very happy for you. <laughs> Thank you so much, Stefa. Thank you. I couldn't have asked for a better parole officer. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> oh my goodness, I'm so happy now I can start off my life again. Welcome to my home. Thank you. <laughs> so, um, you know, I, I'm just so bothered and worried. I caught my sister's husband on their matrimonial bed with another woman. He's cheating on his wife. Why do men see the need or have the need to cheat? Men will be men. Men will be men. And so we are supposed to treat that like a manifesto. Look, my sister is a good wife. She's a good mother to her kids. She's a wonderful provider. Why would he cheat on her? Under their roof. I don't know. I really don't know. But you're going to stay like this. Well, I don't know. I just, I just feel like my sister really needs to know. But I'm, I'm confused. I don't know what to do. I think that will affect their marriage. Don't you think so? If he was committed to the marriage in the first place, I don't think I would be in this position right now. I don't know what to do, really. I think I should tell her, and I'm scared. You don't have to be scared, but I think that, that should be what we should do. You know what, just go and change so we can go have that drink. Right. <laughs> nice place, though. Thank you. You're welcome. Yeah, so, you know, it's, um... You can go to... Oh, that is really nice. It's not bad, isn't it? Beauty. Hey, girl. Uh -uh. What is wrong with her? I have no idea. She's your sister. Why is she angry? I don't know. But she shouldn't be. She just got a job. You know what? I'll talk to her later. Please, because I don't want any negative energy in this house. As if I'll go talk to her. Behave. The only reason somebody cannot even greet somebody. <laughs> anyway, it's um, 150,000 naira a night. For the blue sea? Or for the sand? It's for the resort. Which resort? I told you now. Please, let's stay at home and watch the barbage from here. For what? <laughs> Hi, Shafi. Hey. 
Congratulations on your job as um, a consultant at Lexi Diagnostic Center. So when do you resume? Tomorrow. Wow, so fast. Yes, so fast. <laughs> Congratulations. I'm so proud of you. Thank you. Are you sure everything is okay? Yes, I'm fine. I just was wondering why you didn't say hi when you got back. Oh, that. I, sorry, I, I was not in a very good mood. I'm sorry. Okay. Honestly, I'm sorry. Shafi. Yeah? Um, I would like to talk to you about something. Sure, I'm, I'm, I'm here. Not now, anyway. Daisy, <laughs> is it about my husband? No, no, no. Look, I know that he's been mean to you and being hostile to you, but I see it, actually. I'm talking to him, and I will make sure he stops. That's a promise, okay? Okay. Thank you. You're welcome. Sefa, I'm really confused. I don't know what to do. I really want to tell her. But I feel like if I tell my sister, then they're going to have some form of problems in their marriage. And I don't want them to have any problems in their marriage. Her husband is cheating and she deserves to know. But I'm confused. What do I do? How did you know my husband is cheating on me? Aziz? Shaf. Where is she? I don't know where you're talking. The lady you're sleeping with and do not ask me again. Shafi, I don't know what you're talking about, okay? You're the only woman in my life. You know what I'm talking about? What have I done wrong? I've been a good woman to you. I'm a good mother. I contribute to this house. I perform my wifely duties well. What have I done to deserve this? Oh, you think I'm one of those women that you will cheat on? You think I'm weak? I'm not. As is get out. Get out of my house. Get out of my house. Myself and my kids, we are going to be fine without you. You can go on a shopping spree or whatever spree you want to go on with your with with with, with your neat wit. Shafi. As is, you know me very well. You can't just sit in there. I'm telling you to get out. You're sleeping. Get out!
I... Do you want to say something? I lied. Lean and done. They're not my biological children. We adopted them from from rich orphanage homes. So who had the problem? You or Aziz? Me. The doctor that was Aziz's friend said I had a T-shaped uterus. And that I was high risk of having preterm delivery, miscarriages, topic pregnancy. And I, can, I can't even carry my own children. But did you see other doctors, just to be double sure? I only saw the doctors as they wanted me to see. Everything he wanted, I did. And he did this to me. I gave him my money, my resources. And this is what I get. It's okay. Tomorrow, I would like that you come with me to work. Examine you myself and, you know, run some tests. I would like that you get a second opinion. Second opinions are very important. And then I'll bring the test result back home to you. <sighs> We'll get you a brilliant doctor. Mm -hmm. Do you miss working? Hi, Shafi. Hi. Shafi. Your womb is fine and your uterus is in perfect shape. Wait. You mean I don't have a T shaped uterus? <laughs> no, your uterus is perfect and you can easily birth a child. Why should I believe everything as it's told? Why? Why did I take everything he said, hook, line, and sinker? Why did I stop living for myself and I completely believed in a man? And everything he did and said. Shafi, stop being too hard on yourself. Tizi, I messed up. Eleven good years of my life and I didn't think to check for one. Huh. You know, loving someone sometimes. Makes us do stupid things. But it's over this soon, okay? You'll be fine. Mom, when is dad coming back home? Yeah, mom. Is he still at his workplace? Boys, please. No more no more questions, okay? Um, are you guys done with your homework? Yes, mom. Okay, go bring it for me. Let me see it. Sorry, things turned out this way for your sister. It's quite a terrible news. You know, men are liars. Their words are just like worn out tires. You know, I feel so bad for my sister. I feel so guilty also. Why? I shattered her marriage. Heaven knows that wasn't my intention. I love my sister. I, I promised to take care of her. I just felt watching her husband cheat and not say anything about it. 
I just feel it doesn't make sense. Daisy, I don't feel that way. You do whatever any other sister would do for days. And you don't have to blame yourself for it. I'm very sure that your sister will be grateful for this. Well, if you say so. I know so. Do you want to go for a drink? Nah. I think we should just sit in and watch TV and relax. Hmm? Okay, maybe later. Then you drop me off at home afterwards. Sefa. Sefa. Yeah. You know, when I was in prison, the world turned its back on me. I was always staring at the walls, looking at the ceiling and counting the ceiling. I was all alone, all by myself. Everybody I knew turned their back on me. And then I come out, and I meet you. Sefa, you care about me so much. You understand me so well. <laughs> you make me feel like I am no longer alone. It means a lot to me. Thank you, Sefa. Thank you. I'm glad I found you. Your day. Good. I saw you. You saw me? Yes. I, I don't pretend I'm with that guy. Oh, Sefa. Aha, uh -huh. love a girl. Eh? How? How what? <laughs> Look, Sefa and I like each other, and that's it. Oh, you're falling in love with each other. Which one? We just like each other, okay? Spark has beginning to day and, and begin to fly. Look. Sefa and I, we're just friends. That's all. That's all? Mm -hmm. We just like oh. each other. Like each other or you guys are in love. Please don't put words into my mouth. <laughs> okay? <laughs> uh, okay. Shall I give me G's? Don't worry, you'll meet him very soon. Really? I would love to meet him. I am so tired. I need to freshen up. I messed up, okay? I, I cheated, I know, but, but it was the devil. It was the devil? The devil helped you bring women into our matrimonial bed? The devil helped you connive with our doctor to say that I had a T-shaped uterus and I could not have kids? Did help you, did, did the devil help you repeatedly cheat and lie? What have I not done for you, Aziz? What? 
through thick and thin, I was there for you. I was there with you. And you do this to me. You made me question my own woman for what? Thank God for my sister Daisy. If not for her, I won't know all these things you've been doing behind my back. I'll be living a life full of lies. Huh? Ha ha. Now I know why you didn't want her around because you didn't want her to tell me about the numerous girls that you bring into my matrimonial bed. How dare you? I'm sorry. See, thank you. But you know what? My God will punish you. You will get what you deserve. You no, know, okay? That, that's not true, okay? Look, I'm impotent, okay? Kids. I had an accident when I was younger and they affected my scrotum. I couldn't tell you this. I was scared. I didn't want to lose you because you react like this. Just calm down, okay? Listen, listen, just please forgive me. Look, we can start over, okay? I, I, I still want to be your husband. I want, to, I want to be a father to Lynn and Don. I don't want to ever see you again. And those kids, you will never see them again. Please. Get out. I guess you know me very well. You know me. Shafi, now that you've seen Sefa, are you going to eat him up? Please, just cut me some slack. <laughs> I just want to know who is making my sister glow. Is that a crime? Glow? Yes, you don't know what you're in love. You can't hide it, eh? I can understand her true feelings. Oh, please, don't flatter yourself. <laughs> Shafi, I love your sister very much. <laughs> She's the best thing that has happened to me for a very long time. Ah, ah. Hey. Actually, the feeling is mutual. You know they say the eyes don't lie? Mm -hmm. Continue talking for me, yeah, madam? Before, uncle. I'll speak for you now. Ah, ah. You guys are so cute together, though. Thank you. Matching clothes. Really? Couple goals. <laughs> So you mean Aziz did all these things? We need to be wary of the man that we marry you. I will never be a victim of a man treating me the way Aziz treated you. God forbid. You know what? I honestly don't need Aziz for anything. I don't. My kids and I will be fine. You know, thank God for my sister. If not, I would have known that all these are going on behind my back. Oh, please. Sister, 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 sister. Eh? Yeah? Let me tell you, every marriage has its own ups and downs. Don't allow your sister to come into your life and ruin it for you, or telling you what to do. Look, Onema, my decision stands, okay? <laughs> oh, hi. Hello. Hi. 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 Mm. <laughs> Look at her. They are doing love. They are doing love in front of you. She's painting the town red. She has a boyfriend. See now, they are doing love. And you are here. Loneliness will kill you. So, what do you want me to do? Huh? Go back to Aziz that was cheating on me. I did not say you should go back to your husband. But what I'm saying is that I hate people that flaunt their happiness on top of other people's unhappiness. She knows what you are going through in your marriage. Yet she's wanting that boy in front of you. 
Vizimla. They are doing loving from both of you. She's painting the tarot. She has a boyfriend. So now they are doing love. And you are here. Loneliness will do you. So what I'm saying is that I hate people that flaunt their happiness on top of other people's unhappiness. She knows what you are going through in your marriage. Yet she's flaunting that boy in front of you. Oh, hi, Shafi. You're still up. Where are you coming from at this time? Excuse me? You heard me. Fine. <laughs> Sefa took me out and we ran into traffic. I do not care. What kind of responsible woman will come, at, will come back at this time of the night? Huh? You have never really had problems with late nights before. Shafi, what is going on? No, nothing is going on. I don't want issues with the police. You know your issues. You know you, the, the trouble you're in. Excuse me, are you mocking me? Mocking you? Are you mocking me? Coming into my house, flaunting your relationship in front of my face like that. Same person that made me quarrel with my husband. Eh? Over some unfounded truth. Unfounded truth? Your husband cheated on you. He deceived you. He lied to you. He was using you. And he even admitted to it. Now you want to blame me? Wait. Would you have preferred if I didn't say anything to you? Hmm? I didn't ask you. I didn't beg you to tell me. Look, I was just looking out for a sister. But I can see that you are being silly right now. Is it because I'm staying in your house? Call it whatever you want. Be in my house by six or do not come at all. Act like an irresponsible old woman. Listen, I don't care. Be in my house for six. Maybe it's the same negligence that killed your son. Rubbish! Wow, Shafi. Mom, where is Auntie Lynn? Yeah, Mom, you want to see her. Yes, Mom. Can you people just stop disturbing me? Stop it! Um, boys, I'm so sorry, okay? I didn't mean to shout. Mom, my poetry book is in her room. Can you help get it? Fine, yeah. I can do that. Are you guys okay?
<laughs> she said I made her chase her husband away. <laughs> she made me look like I was a bad person. <laughs> I was only looking out for her. I didn't want any man to use her as a stooge. <laughs> She's my sister and I love her. Why would she say all those things to me? She reminded me of the past. She told me how she called me an ex-convict. Why would she do that to me? That's not good. <laughs> I know the words your sister said to you were hurtful. But you have to try and forgive her. You know she's hurting right now. Okay? She may have transferred the aggression onto you. You know she's burdened right now. And you know this. Daisy, I'm sorry. Richard was a loving child. He was my good luck charm. He was my hope. My holding hope. He had brain and spinal cord tumor. Me being a doctor, I already knew how every stage of the disease was going to develop. I knew he wouldn't just fall asleep one day and never wake up. I knew he was going to go through so much pain. He was going to suffer. There was no cure for the disease. I had to take him and, and leave. Some people thought I abducted him, but they actually thought right. But they thought right actually because I fled with him and I took him to all the places I thought my son was going to love when he grows up. Echo Hotel, all the beaches in Lagos. <laughs> <laughs> over the cattle ranch. I went as far as Yankari Games Resort in Bauchi State and all of the other nice tourist attraction areas in Nigeria. He loved it. He was so happy. Every day, I had to inject him every day just so he doesn't go through the pain. The pain was too much, but he was so brave. My little angel, you know, he looks at me every day and he says, Mommy, I am your little husband. <laughs> One day, we had a party. We were so happy, we laughed, we danced, <laughs> we had fun. And then I read him his bedtime story. He came down with a fever and I gave him a jab. He hugged me so tight with his little arms wrapped around me and he told me 
how much he loved me. He laid in my arms throughout the night. And then in the morning, I injected him to die. <laughs> Javier had no choice. He was suffering. He was in so much pain. <laughs> and at the time, there was nothing to live for anymore because Akin had indicted me and the court found me guilty. <laughs> they said Richard was a minor and he couldn't give me the go-ahead to, to, to carry out the assisted killing, so that was a crime. Why didn't you say something? Why? I was alone. I was so alone. I didn't know what to do. I thought to myself, I could defend myself. But what was the point of it? I gave a child life and I took it from him. Do you know the most horrible thing to go through in this life? is the death of your child. That is a prison. That is a prison you can never come out from. Never. Please, I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry for everything I said to you. You don't deserve it. I was angry. Look, I am thankful for you. I'm thankful that I have you back. I'm, I'm really sorry. I love you deeply. I love you too. I love you more. Oh, I'm sorry.